freaking hot. You get a fan set up here. Vegan's too extreme, some people say. That's noisy. There. Vegan's too extreme. Oh my god. It's not vegan's not extreme enough, man. I mean, oh, there there are so many replies that vegans have to that. You know, look at the other side. That's basically what it comes down to. You think vegan's too extreme, what's the other option? That's a lot more extreme in my opinion. But really, to me, it's not extreme enough. And if you're one of those people that think that I think that veganism would just solve all the world's problems, you've insulted me. You're not respecting me as a human being with dynamic thoughts, you know? And, you know, different ideas other than this one uh, way of life that I'm trying to promote. You know, this is, like I say, it's the baseline. It's not, it's not the entire philosophy. It's, it's just, like, it's fucking first grade, man. Going vegan is kindergarten. Seriously. You gotta get into plant-based nutrition. Seri it, it's important. I didn't just jump on the bandwagon like, boom, oh yeah, now I get it. Fru like, fruitarianism is, like, the perfect, I didn't, I wasn't like that. I was skeptical. I was very skeptical, naturally so, not just trying to have an inquiring skeptical mind. It was naturally like, oh, I really, you know, th that's kind of crazy, like, I don't know if that's really true or right or, you know, I don't know if it makes any sense. So you got to get into plant-based nutrition. You say vegan's too extreme. These are the people who think that they're, like, breaking boundaries because they're, like, going to parties, tripping on acid and stuff. These are the people who just follow the herd, basically, when it comes to their diet. And, and, and you're just, you think vegan's too extreme, like, as if the, the world would just, like, get all fucked up within a couple years if everybody went vegan. You know, things would change. Things would fucking change. Yeah. But, to be, what is it? What, what's the deal? Like, you're, the, the nutrition thing. Figure it out. Learn about nutrition, okay? Learn about plant-based nutrition. Don't just write it off because, you know, standard American diet people say you gotta eat fucking X, Y, Z. And if you're if you're one of those like hashtag less meat people, or if you just eat less meat, you can't really rely on meat for any of your nutrients. So you still gotta get into plant-based nutrition if you're on that less meat route, which most people are these days. Most people are. Unless you're doing the whole low carb thing, and everybody I know who's ever been into low carb is struggling right now, <laughs> or they're doing high carb because they figured it out. So either you're you're fucking up with the Atkins thing, and you're just like eh, binging and purging and fasting and doing your ketosis, just calorie restricting, fucking yourself up, fucking up your metabolism bad, or you you fit, you know you're doing high carb. There's no in between. I mean, there, there or, well, the in between would be you're following the herd, fucking yourself up on the standard American diet. Me, the reason I went vegan was to fix my health. Okay, it wasn't for like weight loss. I've never really had a serious weight problem anyway. It, it was for fucking fix my health. I got like really sick with chronic constipation. It was like brutal. I, I mean, people have had it worse than me for sure, but. It was destroying my life, and it was killing me. It was gonna, uh, it was gonna be the, re the reason I died if I didn't change anything. No matter how long it took, I was gonna die because of this sickness. And I figured it out. Now it's not the only way. If you drink fucking bottles of olive oil and eat meat, you can, you won't be constipated. You'll have diarrhea and shit, you know. And and like you, you're, so there were there were other ways to fix my health problems, but I wanted a holistic route. And I wanted the perfect diet for humans, or the best diet for humans. You know, species-specific diet. Where am I going with this? So, you you think, like, if you think vegan's too extreme, you probably are afraid of agriculture. You hate agriculture, which is just like, you're being an idiot. I'm sorry, but... Dude, go into the fucking woods, get a bow and arrow, take a thousand dollar survival course or something, Get buy a few books, you know, work part-time, forage your fucking food. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. 
you are going to fuck up if you try that. I mean, yeah, wild food. A, A plus. You need to eat wild food. Necessary. But this fear of agriculture is just so irrational. Like, oh yeah, if we just, like, learn animal husbandry, then we won't be humans anymore and we can, like, stop killing everything. You know, if we just, like, fuck off. You, you gotta learn agriculture. You, you gotta get into it and sustainable ag. And I think we can actually have a beneficial effect on the planet. I think we can be stewards of the land. It totally makes sense. Fruit trees, man. Fruit trees. Let the insects be. Pun intended. The, I mean, does that, that, that pretty much say it? Do you think vegan's too extreme? Like, it's fucking kindergarten, man. Vegan is just getting started. We have goals. We have a future ahead of us. People are so fucking complacent. I, I had somebody tell me, like, oh, you, sh you should care. You should vote. And that person's a litter bug. Literally a litter bug. Uh, I, I mean, he, like, throws trash on the ground. And he, like, eats McDonald's. He goes to Wendy's on his lunch break. Sorry, person I'm not gonna name, but... Uh, <laughs> the, and it's not just you. I, I mean, people all have things that are... But uh, things that are important. And the I, I don't want to write off anything. There's a lot of things we have to do. We're complex creatures and we have complex goals and issues to deal with. But this is like the slap in the face thing. <laughs> this is like uh, people in the western world need to unite. We're the ones in control right now. Yeah, you can say like, oh, what about all this like hungry people who like have food shortages? Like, if they went vegan, they would... It's like... Th th <laughs> Why are you thinking about them? Why don't you do the right thing yourself and stop, like, theorizing? Look at your life and look at how you can improve it and how you can have a better impact on the world. The, and you don't have to do it forever. Vegan for life means you're vegan for life, for the sake of life. And, and fruit, you know, symbiosis. But... See where I'm going? V vegan is just getting started. <sighs> um, anyway, it's hot as fuck. I just wanted to make a video um, to keep myself from getting in trouble tonight. Um, so what, what else should I say? It, it's not as, I don't want to just like shake people and say don't be so complacent. I I just want people to apply like make make a visible change. It it's just so fucking easy. Oh my god. I was, I was eating out of dumpsters for months. Yeah, I wasn't vegan then. I I had nothing but dumpster food for 4 months straight. Zero anything ex that wasn't out of a dumpster. 100% Except, I think even, yeah, I think Christmas was the one exception. Um, so I had one day where I actually bought some food. So, it, what I'm trying to say is if you have the ability, you got to make the right choice. If you don't, cool, good on you. Like, it, keep. But for most people on the planet. Oh god, I mean our our dumpster diving community would be a lot healthier and maybe more able to contribute if we if they weren't all like constipated, sludged up under you know, mineraled, undercarbed fucking undernourished. Maybe our homeless population could actually start to contribute and some of these people would be beneficial. Okay, I'm just I'm just rambling now. Just the possibilities are amazing, man. Possibilities are amazing. Um, so think about it. Make a simple change. There's one simple change. That's all I ask. I think it'll set a lot of other things in motion, especially if you decide to make this 
your goal uh, to make this revolution happen. It'll give you a sense of purpose and all that. So that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Give, give me your comments. If you're going to criticize, make it respectful enough for me to actually read it and absorb what you're trying to say because I'm sure you got something real behind what you, uh, your argument. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, you're not just arguing because you hate me or something. I, I trust people to have that respect for me, even if you don't. You know what I mean? I, I, I will give somebody that benefit of the doubt. So, yeah, let's have a discussion. Keep it real, everybody. Peace. Civilized human out.